Jeffrey McCollin here with TechOut, and today I just want to make a quick video updating you guys on iOS 26 Beta 1, and this is uh, specifically for the iPhone 15 and 16 models, all the models including the iPhone 16e, and this does not really change anything as far as bug fixes or anything like that. This only brings one change to iOS 26 for those devices, and that is an issue with certain iPhone 15 and 16 models where showing a low battery icon and unable to boot up um, on iOS 16 Beta 1. So that does fix this. Um, there are a couple other things that people did notice uh, changed in this build. Um, some people were saying that the control center um, background changed, but it does not look like that that is the case. Um, some people comparing it um, have said that it is the same. And usually when Apple only updates a beta on one set of devices, it is only fixing issues related to those, those particular devices and not doing any changes to the beta as a whole. Um, if I take my charger here and we uh, go into the battery settings, uh, we can see here when I plug in my phone um, that this does populate a little bit faster now. Um, so it looks like that Apple did change that um, in the time to charge um, to 80%, 100%. It seems to come up a little bit faster here in iOS uh, 26 uh, re-release. Um, so that may, that might have had something to do with the issue they were fixing with the iPhones showing the low battery icon um, and being unable to start in the first place. Um, obviously, this is a battery feature, so that might be why that has changed. But other than that, there are no new features or changes in this beta. It was simply fixing that issue with, like I said, the iPhone 15 and 16 models. Um, so if you're checking for this update on an older iPhone, you're not going to see it, as well as an iPad those do not have the re-release. So that is what is new here on Friday the 13th on iOS 26 beta 1. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.